Tell you what we're gonna do this afternoon. We uh, we hunted a stand this morning. Uh, saw a couple of deer. Uh, it's about 12, 12:30 right now. There's been a couple of big deer uh, seen in this field. You know, chasing does. And what we've done, we've got a decoy. We're gonna try to put a decoy out there, and hopefully, when these deer uh, around the edge of the field, you know, kind of looking in, checking for does, maybe they'll see this decoy and draw them on out. But uh, it's gonna be a great afternoon this afternoon. Let's get this decoy out. We got a little bit of Tink 69. We got a little canister, and uh, we're gonna put a little bit on it, and uh, the wind's kind of blowing back this way. And hopefully, it's a big field. They'll uh, come in and check it. Oh, here he is right here. Look at this great Canadian white thing. Oh, look at this big deer. Folks, we got us a good deer. I mean, a great deer. Look at this. This is, uh, I think, one of the biggest eight-pointers that uh, you know I've seen. Got great mass down here at the bottom. Got good brow tines, got good G2s, good G3s. And something I couldn't tell, he's got two broken off points on this side, but uh, Basically, I think he's a mainframe ape. And I have to say, this hunt uh, definitely had his anxious moments. Uh, you know, when this deer came running to the field, uh, I grunted it to a stop, and when I looked through my scope, there's some humidity in the air, and the scope was iced over. And I really couldn't even see anything through it. I'm trying to clean the scope off and uh, get that ice off of it. Threw it up again, and still it wasn't real clear, but it was better, and I was uh, able to get the crosshairs on him and, you know, made a good shot, but what a great deer. I am proud to put this one on, on the wall.